Hi, my name is Rich Casella, and I'm a proud resident of Bayonne, New Jersey, and I'm creating a TV show to bring the joys of playing music to the viewers. Regardless of how old you are, regardless of what level of development you're at, I can teach you how to play the guitar and share with you many of my experiences that I've developed over uh, 32 years on the guitar. Now, I'm here at the Grace Lutheran Church here in Bayonne, New Jersey, and we have a very welcoming music program here. We have free music jams in, in addition to many other different types of events that you can attend for free. And I personally have created the website called the Guitar Den, guitar-den.com. There are many free downloads on that site, and I invite you to visit the website and join our mailing list. I'm going to take you on an incredible journey of learning not only how to play the guitar, but perhaps I'll even talk about the nuances and the challenges of being an artist in the year 2014. I want to share many of my secrets of some of the pedals that I use and some of the gear that I use that I've accumulated over the years. Let me just start by introducing you to my Taylor 710 Cutaway. I've had this guitar for Fifteen, sixteen years now, and it has been all over the place with me. I absolutely love it. I have one Samson PA speaker. I'm running it into a. Uh, I'm running into a Mackie mixer. I obviously have a Shure SM57 microphone right here, and I have three pedals in front of me that I want to introduce you to. These pedals are crucial in um, in the gigs that I play. One is a uh, Boss RC3 Loop Station. What this essentially does is enables you to pre-record tracks on the spot and fill out the sound. So there's a very big difference between playing and having somebody else play that while you play. The Boss RC3 Loop Station will enable you to play both at the same time. In, in, in fact, it will enable you to play unlimited, unlimited tracks however many you choose to record. I also have a digital delay here, and I have a graphic equalizer. When I record one loop, what I do with the delay and the equalizer when I solo is hit them, activate them, and that'll bring the levels up just gently so my solos will ride above the um, rhythm track that I've created. Let's take a popular song that we all know in 2014, perhaps we all know it, and it's uh, very popular in the bars that I play. It's called uh, Get Lucky by Daft Punk. With this particular song, I'm going to show you how to create three rhythm tracks and then solo over it. Now, this is a very simple song, and it's a great song. It's uh, B minor 7th, D major, F sharp minor, and E major. Let's start with the basic rhythm track. playing. Now let's create our bass line. Now I know exactly how many turns it takes to get down to the B. So I'm going to turn it one half and then almost to the second. You can hear that's a low B note. Let's record that. back up to an E. Now let's record an arpeggiated line to accentuate what we have right now. Now what we want to do is solo. This is where it gets real fun. Now we're going to activate the graphic equalizer and the delay.
Now that we have that, we really have a bed that we can lie on and explore the instrument. Here's where it gets really interesting because the possibilities are limitless. And like I said, I've been exploring this instrument for 32 years now and I'm finally becoming completely one with it. That's how long it took me. So let's, let's just fly around the fretboard a little bit. Let's start real easily. Just the, our root note. Now this is the B minor note. This is the B minor chord. Can you hear how? So let's play the B. Very simple. Now, obviously, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the beauty of how to elaborate this and grow this into something that sounds really cool. See how it has a character? It started out with just one note. It kind of speaks, doesn't it? It stays in our head. Gotta harmonize it. Don't ever, ever, ever worry about complexity or never cardinal rule. If you're going to go on this journey with me, never be scared, never be frightened, never say, I can't do that. You can do it, trust me. That's going to be a process that may take you a while. You may be watching me saying, of course I could do it, but maybe you don't play the guitar yet. Maybe you play the guitar a little bit, but you're not quite that technically advanced. Um, never say you can't do it. You can do it. You will do it. If you go on this journey with me, I'll make sure you do, because um, it's a little simpler of a process to get there than you think. on our little journey here. Let's start with another note. Let's start with the major fifth.
Now what's the major fifth, you might ask? Simpler than you think. It's just five tones up from the root. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds like that. Like that? Have you noticed that soloing exists in blocks, almost small ideas? So I'll create, and, and they start small and they grow into a fully developed thought. And then the natural progression is to change the idea. Let me give you an example, perhaps musically trying to put this into words. Very simple, right? It's got to grow. I just reversed it. Interesting. Notice I'm not leaving my little area, my one little area here. I can leave the area if I choose, but for simplicity's sake, showing you how to um, explore your fretboard, I want to stay in that little area. How that higher note brought it to another level. Let's explore another area. How about time to sing? To give up who we are And let's raise the ball In a cups to the stars We're up all night to the sun She's up all night for good fun I'm up all night to get some We're 
up all night to get lucky We're up all night to the sun She's up all night for good fun I'm up all night to get some We're up all night to get lucky We're up all night to get lucky We're up all night to get lucky oh. Now with the Boss RC3 pedal, um, the key is uh, the key to deactivating, and it's it's uh, playing this pedal. Pl playing this pedal is like playing an instrument. Uh, when I first got it, it was very confusing. <laughs> so a number of people that came up to me and said, you know, I got the Boss RC3 loop station, but I stopped using it because I couldn't figure it out. Um, don't quit on if you get this pedal because it's a fantastic uh, piece of equipment. You just have to deactivate it. Like like watch how I reactivate it right now. In order to deactivate it, you actually have to hit it twice. So you have to be counting in your head because you want to you want to you want to end it exactly right. You want to go like this. You want to go. She's up all night to the sun. I'm up all night to get some. We're up all night to get lucky. End it right on the correct. want to end it exactly where it, the song should end. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually be recording the rhythm track to this song while I'm playing it. And I want to show you. So my foot is going to hit it as soon as the, as soon as the song actually starts. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. Well, I hear that train a coming. Well, it's rolling round the bend. Uh, well, I ain't seen the sun shine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. And time keeps dragging me on. I see that train coming on down in San Antonio. Well, when I was just a baby, well, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. Well, I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. I see that train coming. Let's record another line to that. Now that we have our bed of music, we can just explore. I'm going to wail a little bit and uh, maybe bring it back and show you a few things.
Now let me take you on this journey for a little bit. Let's start small. Let's start real small. Just play the E chord. Again, start with our root note. Here's our root note, the E. Let's see, let's see how that feels. Let's do the octave. I think it's really interesting how you can practically ride that entire note through the entire chord sequence with very minimal variations. Now notice I'm not going one note. See how I'm testing notes? What sounds good? Ah, that feels good. Time to sing. Well, I bet there's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car. Probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. Those people keep on moving, and that's what tortures me. They freed me from this prison and that railroad train was mine Probably moving on a little farther down that line When I fall from Folsom Prison Now you're probably saying to yourself, oh, I'm never going to play like that. Oh, he's, he wails all across the fretboard. Uh, again, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to keep drilling it into your head until you get it. Every single thing that I played is just a bunch of individual notes. Look. Watch this. Sounds interesting. Sounds, are you scared by that? Do you think you could play that? You can't play it right now? Okay. Can you do this? Can you do that one note? Can, I, I've taught five-year-olds to play one note. One single note. If you could play that one single note, what I played is only about 30 notes. Watch. Here's a homework assignment. Count how many notes that was. 20? Okay. If you play this, you're 1 20th there.
human brain always needs to grow. No matter how good you get at something, it always needs a challenge. At some point in time, you're going to transcend scales. Did you notice how I kind of got bored with just... I'm leaving the scales. I'm leaving the realm of logical music. Now I gotta bring it back. Craziness. Bring it back. So thanks for watching the first show. If you like what you see, sign my mailing list and get in touch with me. We have a very welcoming environment here at the Grace Lutheran Church in Bayonne. We have the Hand in Hand Music School with some incredible teachers that are very interested in your growth and development. It's completely free to come. We have free jam sessions. You could bring your instrument regardless of how old you are, regardless of any level of development, or regardless of what instrument you play. Music is probably the strongest communicative force out there. You could become a very popular person amongst your friends, strumming a guitar at a party, or playing whatever instrument, providing that it reaches people, and providing that you have a great attitude about it.